Hello YouTube, this is Carlos with CHS Electronics. This is part one of a three part series about my new PIC18F 67K40 development board. Now this board is uh, bigger than, uh, than most of the other ones I've made. It measures uh, exactly 100 millimeters by, uh, let me verify that by 130 millimeters so it's only uh, a little bit bigger anyways let me show you the schematic on this board we have a uh, level shifter starting at the top left it's a TXB0108 3.3 uh, volt and 5 volt level shifter right next to that we have our uh, NRF 24LO1 plus uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio and then to the right of all that we have our uh, famous HC-05 or HC-05 uh, Bluetooth module that everybody's fond of and then we have our USB uh, uh, IC that's the FT-232RL and then below that we have our uh, all-time favorite, the TM1620, six uh, digits, seven seven display with uh, two displays, so two digits, six digits. And then uh, we have that our uh, our status status LED section, which is just a, a bank of eight LEDs, and it's driven by the NPIC 6C595, which is an open drain. Uh, 8-bit uh, serial to parallel shift register and I use two in this uh, in this board uh, here's the other one which also has its LEDs but I use it to drive uh, eight small relays small enough that I can fit it in the board so the relays uh, outputs are connected in parallel and they are brought out to uh, three pin screw terminals also we have 5 volts brought out to an 8 pin, uh, sorry 6 pin screw terminal and also 12 volts that, that feeds the board. So we can uh, select either 12 volts to switch at the relays or we can select uh, 5 volts or we can uh, select ground. And then here we have our PIC uh, 18F67K40, it's a 64 pin device and essentially we're only using five, five ports and we're bringing those out towards the bottom of the board. Here's our, uh, our power supply section. We, we use a 5 volt regulator. Sorry about that. We have a 5 volt regulator here and we have our 3.3 volt regulator here and they're both fused. Uh, the 12 volt outputs fused at 10 amps and the, uh, the logic and the 3.3 volt outputs are, are well, sorry, supplies are, are fused at one amp for both. So that's basically it with the schematic. It's uh, it's not complicated. It's it's fairly simple. But uh, I took out all the other stuff because this used to be a much bigger schematic and a much bigger board. And I took out all the other stuff that I couldn't make fit without having to make the board too large. So right now I'm using. Uh, 0805 uh, component packages as far as the resistors and capacitors but if I move down to a 0603 or what, whatever 0602 uh, sizes on those components then maybe I can make it smaller but then maybe I can't even solder them by hand anymore so anyways here are uh, here are the the relays for the connectors you can see they're up there. Here's my uh, 12 volt output. Here's my uh, 5 volt output. There's my 12 volt input. Here's fuse one, fuse two, five volt regulator on the five volt line, three volt regulator on the three volt line. And if we go further down here, here's our uh, Bluetooth module. Here's the radio module that I brought out. Here's the level trans uh, translator with the level shifter. Here's my pick. Here's my USB IC. 
with its connector, sorry, and my programming port. Everybody's got like the programming port. And then back here we have the uh, TM1620 with its corresponding seven segment displays. Okay, so now moving on to the board. Here is the actual board. It, uh, you can see it looks, uh, looks very green. Very, very green. Here, uh, this is what it looks like on the front. Let me see if I can uh, get a better, better angle of it. Uh, there's uh, everything that I described. So you can see the relay outputs are isolated from the rest of the board. They're not uh, covered in ground. And there you are. So let me turn it around. This is the back of the board. This is what the back of the board looks like. Try to make everything as uh, clean and neat as possible. I don't like uh, messy, uh, you know, traces just going anywhere and everywhere. I like to make my designs nice and clean and and clear. And but anyways, here's a uh, here's a uh, one of those little screw terminals. If I can get it to focus. This is not, there we go. Come on. There we go. And it's a uh, 0.1 inch uh, spacing on the headers here. Uh, let me see if I can fit that in there. And basically that's uh, what they're gonna look like. That's gonna be all the way across there and all the way in the top. And uh, of course, Here's a little Bluetooth module, and you can see. Uh, obviously, I, I mean, as you you may already guess, I make all these uh, designs myself. I make all my own footprints. Uh, these are my own components for Eagle. At least on the components that Eagle doesn't carry in the library. But there you are. And uh, the uh, the radio is going to go on on a. Uh, female SIP headers and there you go well this is the board and I hope you like it so anyways the board's not uh, too big it's fairly simple it's easy enough for a beginner to to use if they know how to program a pick whether they use uh, uh, you know a C programming language or four picks or basic pick basic or even if you want to uh, be as a uh, gung-ho about it and use uh, assembly language which I've used before and that's what I learned programming picks with and then I moved on to a higher level language like pick basic I haven't done uh, I haven't done a uh, C but uh, I'm sure one of these days I'll I'll get around to learning C well, this is uh, part one of this series, and uh, part two will consist of the assembled board and uh, showing uh, some of, uh, or talking more in depth about the actual components and and why I chose the, those components, and uh, eventually, uh, and how how the board looks with the components installed on them. And uh, part three will consist about. Uh, using the board in, in, a, in an environment or in a development um, project and, you, and or maybe just running some code through it so you guys can see what what it does what you can do and and uh, how you can use it and uh, if you guys uh, if you guys like this board then uh, uh, I might uh, Actually, I will. I will put this board for sale on eBay, but uh, I won't do it just yet until I get it uh, working and uh, show it to you guys on video on, on how it works and and uh, verify the design that it's going to be a good design. And uh, after that, I'll put the board up on on eBay and let let the let the world uh, make a purchase. I can put the board up by itself or I can put the board completely populated but of course that will drive up the price when the, if the board is completely populated. 
But anyways, this is part one of this three-part series, and the series is going to be about the about a my DIY Pick 18F 67K 40 development board. Anyways, thanks again for sticking around YouTube, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you gave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I hope you subscribe. And as many uh, other YouTubers say, hit the little bell on the subscribe. That way you can get notifications of new videos. Thanks, for, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys uh, on the next video. Thanks again.